Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times Crossword for Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across, go directly to blank, order in Monopoly. That's definitely going to be go directly to jail. Oh, and we have a bunch of shaded squares on the grid today. Look at this. They almost look like little raindrops or something. They're all going down. Interesting. Let's see what this first one is. Treasury Secretary Yellen. Okay, that's going to be Janet Yellen. That's very interesting. This is J-A-N. That could stand in for January, right? I wonder if we have a dozen of these shaded squares. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh, yeah, we do. I have a feeling we're going to have abbreviations for the months of the year running down through these shaded squares. Let's work towards this one and see if it's February. Whom you might ask to turn off the lights nowadays. I guess that could be Alexa, right? The digital assistant. Getting on in years, e.g. Um, I guess this could be an example of an idiom, right? Yeah, that's about getting older. Fall behind could be lag. So this is Alda. Is it Alan Alda? Alan of Marriage Story, yeah. And we have exo, prefix with exoskeleton. Yeah, that's what a lobster has. And dishes steamed in corn husks. Shouldn't that be tamales? Oh, we have a typo here. This should be Alexa. And this should be tamales. Very nice. What do we have here? Fencing partners. And this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark here. What you have to do with wordplay clues is look for a punny answer. So this is not going to be about sword fighting partners. I think the pun here is going to be about partners that share a fence or a border. That'll be neighbors, right? Very nice. Yeah, that's pretty funny. What a jelly donut lacks. Jelly donuts don't have a hole. Airport of Paris. Oh, what is that? Is it Orly? I want to say it is. And we have a B here. That's a very good sign. We want this to be Feb right here. Air freshener brand. Yeah, that's Febreze, right? How do you spell that? Is it E-E-Z or E-Z-E? -E? Candy from a head. That should be Pez, right? They're talking about the Pez dispenser. So this will be E-Z-E. -E. Number of dice in Yahtzee. I think that's five. Blissful place. That could be Eden. So we have idols. Paparazzi targets. Yeah, that's going to be celebrities. Very. Part of VIP. Very important person. And ends. They come before O's. Oh man, I guess we're talking about letters of the alphabet. L-M-N-O-P. Okay, let's see if this is March here. This should be M-A-R. Blank trench. Deepest place in the 10 down. Uh, shouldn't that be the Marianas Trench? Uh, I think it's like this. And then this should be the ocean, right? Because that's the deepest part of the ocean. Let's see if this is ocean. Menacing eel. Could that be... Amore, that's amore. Like at least two angles of every triangle. I think that has to be acute. Extend as wedding vows, that'll be renew. Yeah, so ocean is definitely right. We have run, seek office, wolf down, eight, and you, bow making wood. Yeah, those all look good. By way of, could be via. Flying geese formation. Well, I know all about this. That's a flying V. And this should be May, it looks like, right? We have April here. Shishen, it's a builder. Um, I guess this is going to be a Mayan. Nice, okay. Nickname for NFL Hall of Famer Green. 
Well, we know this square needs to be a J. This has to be June. And I believe this nickname is Mean Joe Green. Yeah, that looks good. And this should be June. Post coup group. <laughs> uh, I think that's going to be a military junta. That's a rare bit of vocabulary. Surname that's an anagram of no lie. Hmm. Um. It's not Olin. Is it O'Neill? I think that makes sense. Yeah. Deserves. Maybe it's Earns? Spanish article. Yeah, that could be Una. That's A in Spanish. We want this to be an R. Ed of Up. Yeah, that was Ed Asner. Okay, I think Earns is right here. And then what is this? This should be September, right? Photo filter for a retro look. Yeah, that should be sepia. And this is set in, take effect, yeah. And we have pals, buddies. Yeah, that looks right too. So this should be April, French for after. Uh, yeah, the French word for after is après, like in après ski, hanging out in the ski lodge after skiing. Okay, hockey great Yaramir. <laughs> I know this is Yaramir Yager. Yeah, we know we want a J in here because this needs to be July. Vern of sci-fi. Yeah, that's going to be Jules Vern. High in the sky. Is that a loft? Arrive at. It seems like that should be get to. Is this Yuli's, like Yuli's gold? With 70 Across, 1997 film in which Peter Fonda plays a beekeeper. Yes, that is Yuli's gold. Excellent. Many informally. I guess that could be lots of. We have an F. Is this a juvenile newt? No, online payment sent from a bank account in brief. Interesting. I guess this is an electronic funds transfer. That's a funny way to clue this. Usually you see eft as a juvenile newt. Yeah, they're mixing it up a little bit. Informal informant. Okay, so this is going to be an informal name for an informant. I guess you could call someone a stoolie. That's kind of a slang term for a stool pigeon, which is itself a slang term for an informant. That's pretty funny. Marine swimmer with a tall dorsal fin. Uh, hmm. A tall dorsal fin. Is it going to be a shark? I don't think shark fits here. Hmm. What is that? Dios blank. That could be Dios mio, right? My god. Cry in a game of tag. Is it I'm it? Let's see if that's right. We want this to be August, right? Hanna-Barbera's Augie Doggy? <laughs> I don't think I've heard of that doggy before, but that has to be right. Nothing to it. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I think easy would be a good equivalent for nothing to it. Battle of Normandy City. Ooh, this is tricky. I don't know if I know this one. Let's see what this down is. Bill worth a hundred bones. And because we have kind of a slang term for a hundred dollar bill in the clue, our answer needs to be a slang term for a hundred dollar bill also. I think you could call that a C spot. Yeah, so this ended up being cane. Ooh. I don't think I've heard of that before. We had Orly and Kane on the puzzle. I hope you all brushed up on your French geography before starting this puzzle. Oh my goodness. Okay, instrument played with a mallet. That's going to be a gong. Hmm. This should be October. Duo times four. Yeah, that's an octet. And what do we have here? Corporate money minder. That should be a chief financial officer. Is this a sale fish? I don't know if I've heard of that before. Most populous Caribbean country. Uh, is it Haiti? That would fit. Black Forest blank. Hmm. In the past, that could be a go. 
Alternative to an Airbnb. I guess you could just go to an inn. Yeah. One of the daughters in Despicable Me. I don't know this for sure, but it's looking like it's gonna be Agnes. And I wonder if we have a revealer here. It's looking like it's gonna be month, isn't it? And we have all of our months here in shaded squares. Let's see if that's right. Any of 12 represented in this puzzle's shaded squares. Yep, that's definitely gonna be a month. All right, let's get our last two months down here. Reveled in. And when you have a word at the end of your clue in parentheses, it just means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer and sound correct. So I think this is gonna be gloried in. That sounds good. Chain of Polynesian Islands. And this is a wordplay clue. So this is not literally talking about a bunch of islands. I think this is gonna be a chain that you might receive if you're on a Polynesian island. That could be a lei, right? That would be a necklace that's a chain of flowers. Very clever. Okay, give off. That could be emit. And this should start with an N, right? This should be November. Like a wanderer. Okay, so they're looking for an adjective here. This should be an N. And this should be a D for December, right? So this should be nomadic. And let's see what November is here. New and unusual, that should be novel. Griner of Shark Tank. I've never watched Shark Tank. It looks like it might be Lori. Plastic brick, yeah, that's gonna be a Lego. Rolling contest roller. Is that when people are rolling on logs in the water? Is it gonna be a log? And this will be an OG. Curved molding in architecture. Man, this is a super crosswordy bit of vocabulary. This is definitely one you should remember though. It shows up from time to time. And what do we have here? Exodus follower. I guess we're talking about books of the Bible. We know this should be a C for December. So this should probably be Leviticus. And let's see what December is here. Interior designer's concern. Yeah, that's gonna be decor. Possible answer to, do you have to? I think this could be, I must, very seriously. Undemanding and well-paying as a job. I guess that could be a cushy job. Do we have an emu here? Outback bird, yeah, that's right. That's an emu. Swanky could be posh and pretentious, that should be arty. So we have an IPA, brew pub offering in brief. Yeah, an India pale ale. Excellent, all right, let's throw this A in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 25 minutes. That isn't our fastest Tuesday solve in history, that's for sure. So we had an every month of the year theme today. We had an abbreviation for every month of the year running down in shaded squares. Yeah, there wasn't anything too tricky about this theme. It seemed like the biggest effect that this theme had on the puzzle was forcing them to use some kind of trickier obscure fill in order to fit all of these month abbreviations in. Yeah, there was kind of a lot of proper nouns. We had Alda, Orly, Kane, these very tricky French cities. There was Ed Asner over here, Yaramir Yager, and we had Lori and Agnes also, along with this very obscure crossword standby, OG. Yeah, in order to fit all of these months in, it seemed like there was some compromises made with the fill, but there was some fun stuff to be found here. I really liked this wordplay clue for neighbors, fencing partners, that's very funny. And this is a classic pun for Lei, chain of Polynesian islands. I also liked seeing the Marianas Trench here next to Ocean, and Sailfish is pretty cool too. I wonder if there's any sailfish near the Marianas Trench. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Tuesday puzzle with me. I've got a special surprise in store for you all next month. 
The channel's going to be getting a spooky October makeover, so look forward to that. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.